Okay, we have some information here. So 20 students, the amount of DVDs they have. And this information is in a stem and leaf plot, and this you would have done stem and leaf plots in grade 9. Let's look at how we find the mean, median, mode and range of a stem and leaf plot. Okay, I'll start with one of the easiest ones, the range. The range is the highest score minus the lowest score. So in other words, what's the most DVDs one of these 20 students had? Well, 56, 5, 6 is our higher score. So, well, it looks like that two students had 34 DVDs. It also looks like two students had 37 DVDs. It's okay to have two modes, so the mode is 34 and 37, because two students had 34 DVDs and two had 37. Okay, we need to look at the mean and the median. So, for the mean, the mean is the sum of all the scores divided by the number of scores. Well, there was 20 students. For the sum of all the scores, we add up the scores here. So, in other words, we say that we add 4 DVDs plus 14 plus the next one, which is 16, plus the next one, which is 22, plus the next one, which is 23, plus the next one, which is 25, plus 28, plus 30, plus, and we keep putting all the scores down until we get to 50. Okay, the other way to do it is to cross off, like we did when the scores were in a long line, we cross off the lowest score with the highest score. Next lowest, next highest. 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 Next lowest. Sorry, it's got a little bit messy there. Okay, due to the mess, I'm going to start that median again. So we're crossing off. The lowest score with the highest score. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Etc. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Lowest, highest. Again, leaves us with two scores. Those two scores being what they were when we did it the other way. 34 plus 36, we divide those by 2 to get 35 as our median term. So that has gone through the mean, median, mode and range from a stem and leaf plot.